It's the leading cause of genetic infant death but the hope is not for long, as more babies born in Canada will be tested at birth for spinal muscular atrophy, or SMA. Pepper, how old are you going to be tomorrow? Two, 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 two. For Harper mm. Hankey, reaching her second birthday and standing on her own. She's thriving. She's doing so well. She's starting to walk, which is a milestone that was never supposed to happen. Right now in Alberta, kids like Harper with SMA type 1 are diagnosed after countless tests when they show symptoms their motor cells aren't working. But treatment options work best at stopping the symptoms. Our lives got flipped upside down. Lewiston's breathing was labored and he had low to no muscle tone. When Jessica Jansen's son was diagnosed five years ago, there were no treatments. Lewiston passed away peacefully in my arms just before his six month birthday. He was gifted 179 days. Creating the Love for Lewiston Foundation, today able to celebrate as Muscular Dystrophy Canada funds a pilot program that would detect SMA in the blood taken from an infant's heel at birth, not just here in Alberta, but Manitoba and Quebec as well, starting in 2022. Joining tests for things like cystic fibrosis and sickle cell disease. And as we don't offer um, tests for disorders that can't be treated. So every disorder that we screen for is a treatable disorder. One of the treatments allowing Harper to thrive today, Zolgensma, the most expensive drug in the world, was recently Health Canada approved and funded in Alberta on a case-by-case -case basis, meaning parents of newly diagnosed kids already don't have the same stress as the hankies, fundraising for nearly $3 million and ultimately needing to win a medical lottery. I would not want any family to go through what we have. It was really hard not only on our children but on our family as well on relationships and while harper's physiotherapy may look like lots of fun her mom is hopeful that those newly diagnosed won't need it if they get treated earlier and we are fortunate that the research has continued especially in the last few years to see these advancements and see these children live and not only live but thrive in edmonton carly robinson city news